See, this is what I mean when I say that I'm not creative. I'm sacrificing my dignity and self-esteem for a YouTube video. But it's okay, because this should be a fun video to make. Right? Disclaimer before the video starts, though. Don't take any of this too seriously. It's basically all a joke, I think. Um, and they're all really nice people. For the most part. So basically, I chose some of my weirder college essays that I thought worked from an admissions perspective, but would be really embarrassing to read for 18 year olds. So I sent some of my friends the document of the essays that they'd be roasting a few weeks ago, but I don't know what they'll be saying, so I'm gonna prepare for the worst, um, especially from Ariane, because as you'll come to find out, she's the nicest one here. We'll see how this turns out, so here we go. But first, let's meet my friends. Hi everyone, my name's Angela, and I am going to Stanford University, and Kyle paid me to be in this video. Hey guys, my name is Ariane, and I'll be going to Stanford in the fall. And if at any point in the video Kyle says that I'm his friend, he's lying. I'm not his friend. Hi, I'm Melody. And I'm Daniel. And we're both attending Princeton University. And contrary to the contents of this video, we are actually very nice people. Hi, my name's Kevin. I'm going to Princeton University. And I think my essays are secretly worse than Kyle's. Hello, my name is Lauren. I go to Brown University. And I also have a YouTube channel. So me and Kyle are both YouTubers. And this video was really fun to do because his essays were super interesting. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm going to Princeton and I'm here to steal all of Kyle's simps. My only rule, don't hold back. We know you lead a busy life full of activities, many of which are required of you. Tell us about something you do simply for the pleasure of it. All right, Lauren, go ahead. The joy of killing and psychologically manipulating friends is unparalleled. I laugh wickedly every time I hear my friends accusing each other of being the murderer while I sit back, innocently enjoying this mobile game called Among Us. So I don't think myself or any of us nor Kyle could have predicted how horribly this essay would have aged. If the admissions officers were reading this now, they probably would have rejected him on the spot just because of the topic. Honestly, I think it was an appropriate topic for the time that he was writing this. But it's hard to read this back now knowing how everyone has memefied this game. So it's gonna be hard to get through this, but we can do it together. All right. Although it might seem counterintuitive, I love playing Among Us because it allows me to strengthen and revitalize friendships. So I call bull right there because I know like Kyle is not sitting there with his phone like, wow, like I'm learning so much from this game on how to build friendships. And also I feel like it would have been so funny if Kyle's just like horrible at the game and he like acts like he's so good at this game and like he's like manipulating all She's his right. friends. But that, that sentence was a little bit, I could tell the fabrication from that. All right, let's keep going. Among Us is a game of teamwork, suspense, and occasional comedy where one randomly chosen imposter must secretly kill the crewmates who complete tasks and vote to eliminate said imposter. Everything about the game is perfect. That's weird. I, I don't like that sentence at all. I don't, that like, I don't know. It, it, it kind of seems like sexual there. I don't really know, but. Okay, okay. <laughs> that was some added interpretation on your half. <laughs> Everything about the game is perfect. Like, that's what you would say if you're describing, like, a significant other. It's animations, strategy, chaos, and design. The characters are adorable. Why Why would you say <laughs> Kyle, like, went on, like, DeviantArt and found, like, fan art of Among Us characters. <laughs> and that was the inspiration for this essay. He was reading Wattpad stories. It's, like, crewmate ex-imposter. Like, <laughs> or enemies to lovers. <laughs> enemies to lovers. Yeah, so far that I think that's the worst part of the essay. I don't like the fact that you called them adorable. He should have included a work cited because it felt like he was paraphrasing the wiki. Okay. okay. Almost cute enough for me to spare. See, again with the again with the cute, I think like we I think perfect was like doing it, right? And then you added the adorable, which added like a second layer. And then you added the word cute. So at this point, the admissions officer's wondering, like, how exactly does he interpret this game? Like, how close is he to this game? As imposter, my heart races as I try to blend in, covertly assassinate, and divert blame. Perhaps my favorite part, however, is the voting period. After each dead body is found, players are allotted time to discuss suspicions and defend themselves, eventually deciding on one skeptical character to eject from the game. See, missed opportunity right there. I know you specifically used the word skeptical because you didn't want to say sus. Oh, no, I was just... I didn't even think of that. But, okay, you did a good explanation of the game, though. Because, as someone who doesn't understand the game, like, I understand it now. Yeah, Wikipedia helped with it, yeah. 
Okay. I enjoy our collaborative efforts that, while periodically successful, usually dissolves into pandemonium, every player blaming another. From costing us the game by falsely blaming my fellow crewmate to accidentally killing in plain sight and fleeing the crime scene, that was a mouthful, I've reconnected with old friends and bonded with current friends during our 1am Among Us game nights. Do I feel bad for lying to my friends' faces? Yes. But will I keep playing Among Us, a game with facets from all genres that helps my friendships bloom? Also, yes. Those last two sentence were be sentences were beautiful. Oh wait, what was the prompt again? Tell us about something that you do for fun. Okay. Okay. I get it. Because I was like kind of waiting for there to be like a point of all of that. And the point is like to build <laughs> friendships. But I feel like there are so many other ways to do so. Maybe like step outside like it's like you can tell that kyle's never touched grass before he's like hmm, what do i do for fun i just play among us and go and take talk but it was it was a well-written essay did you get into mit no so this is single-handedly why everyone watching this if you want to get into mit erase this essay from your mind this is single-handedly the reason he did not get in i can tell you with confidence because i was the admissions officer who actually read this essay see what i got from this is that you're an asian boy who plays video games and is manipulative that sounds like half of my friend's boyfriends so tell me your friend's numbers then oh i don't think they'd be interested kyle i'm sorry they like people who got into mit can we rate this essay out of 10. i might regret this but yes okay well obviously the way it's written it's well written like you're going to princeton obviously it's going to be well written in terms of content and like your unique perspective on it, I'm going to give it like a f a three point five. Mm, she was gonna say four. She was gonna I, say see, four. I was gonna say four, and then I remembered the way you spoke about the Among Us characters, and it kind of pulled me back to the three point five. So, okay, five. let's go okay. to Yale. I, I, let's let's talk about it. Okay, so next are some of the Yale short answers, and Kevin, you actually got into Yale, so you're gonna be reading these. What inspires you? and avid sports fans. I'm inspired by undersized but successful athletes like Stephen Curry, DeAndre Hopkins, and Lionel Messi to work hard regardless of the obstacles ahead. This is your dream school, and then you're like, you know what? I need to tell them I'm a boy who likes sports and Stephen Curry. Let's talk about how you called Stephen Curry undersized. <laughs> Stephen Curry is 6'3". Who are you calling undersized? How tall are you? <laughs> and Leo, see like- but, Okay. So it's like, why would you, a, a tall man, be taking inspir- Like, I feel like it would make sense if you were short. So this is something Kevin should have written. I'm gonna ignore that roast. Did you work on this essay or did you just like write it? Kyle, did you play any sports in high school? Yes, I was on my basketball team. Really? <laughs> she was- <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't mean that offensive. Really? Just like... <laughs> you sound like those kids who like talk, those like student athlete kids who are like, oh, the grind never stops. Like it's so hard to be <laughs> yeah. a student athlete. Like You know, honestly, you could have done the most basic answer and that would have been better. Yeah, I, I also know. want to bring some attention to the last question, the sweet mate question. So the question asks, what do you hope to add to your sweet mate's experiences and what do you hope that they will add to yours? And he writes, I bring my photographic memory of Ed Sheeran lyrics, knowledge of sports and stellar fried rice recipe. I hope my sweet mates also bring varying interests so we can create a culturally rich space. You sound like every single Instagram intro post I have ever heard. You're like, I like Ed Sheeran sports and I can make fried rice. You might as well have said, I like to go thrifting and watching netflix but i also can be the life of the party don't netflix. forget going out for bubble tea and harry styles oh. is there a reason why you're an ed sheard fan have you ever been with a redhead no so what's your favorite ed sheard song can you recite it for us right now i want to hear your photographic yeah, memory yeah sing it sing it also was it supposed to be like a reference to the song photograph because you put photographic memory of ed sheard lyrics or is that just there you know y'all are way better at this than i am because i did not yeah, me and Lauren are trying to find more nuance in your essays that doesn't exist. It's like, it's so simple that you have to think, is there something else going on? Let's see. Leadership can be demonstrated in many ways. Please share how you have demonstrated leadership in either your school, job, community, and or within your family responsibilities. Music has been a major part of my life and has allowed me to expand my community through Houston Youth Symphony All-State Band, meeting new friends, <laughs> as if like you're supposed to list like another community. <laughs> and then he goes, he goes, since the COVID-19 pandemic, we were unable to con convene, make music together and lift each other's spirits, disrupting our community and preventing us from performing together. <laughs> the first sentence and then the like last part of that sentence are the same exact thing. It's like, we're unable to convene and <laughs> restate it again as if he's like adding anything to the 
actual paragraph, but <laughs> recognizing the large impact this had on musicians, I set out to bring us all together through our lo shared love for music once more. The that, once that more really adds to it. Like, I don't <laughs> right? <As> a... <laughs> like, it's the last time you're ever playing together. <laughs> this is it. This is the end. This sounds worse now that you're reading it out loud. Yeah, like, it was, like, really basic when I read it. But now that I look at, like, the details, it's, like, kind of scarring. But anyway, yeah. You sound like Noah Centineo, like, when you're writing this. <laughs> like, you know how it's, like... <laughs> one, one, one video where he's just, like, saying nothing. Is the Noah clip you're talking about, like, the... It's not what you've... It doesn't matter what you've yeah. done, but what you've done with what you've done for others or something? <laughs> yeah. It's like what you did for what you've done for others. It matters not what you've done, but what you do with what you've done for others. In early April, I gathered 12 of my friends that I met at either Houston Symphony- You have t more than 12 friends? <laughs> <laughs> like, like they... how, how many do you have? He just had to like say it. He had to like put he it to, out like, there. He had to specify, he had to I specify have 12. It, yeah. I'm, I'm just letting you know. And proposed a virtual performance of a short clip. I literally can't say this. It's Shersonade. Anyway, as I had recently developed an interest in video editing, I layered our individual recordings together so that we sounded like a full-fledged orchestra. We shared the video with our conductor, who absolutely loved it, and even though we were physically apart, we were emotionally together. <laughs> you're crying. <laughs> so nice. That's so, so wholesome. That's so Kyle, how are you emotionally together when you guys recorded them separately and then you merged them all together? Right. Like, you, guys aren't <laughs> even the same call. you guys aren't in the same call. You guys aren't doing the same thing. How are you emotionally together? Hoping to connect to even more musicians, I auditioned for the Curtis Summerfest, an international online program for musicians. It was a wonderful experience as all of us were able to meet musicians from around the world with a variety of backgrounds. <laughs> Wanting to keep <clears throat> making music with my new friends, I organized a year-long wind quintet. Did you get into UT Austin? Yeah, it was my safety school, so that's why the essay is so bad. Right, that's why the essay is so bad. That explains a UT Austin essay, but what the rest of them? No, there's still more, there's still more. It goes, it gets better. <laughs> we recorded a variety of <laughs> the music The last genres, sentence. From the Hindemith Wind Quintet number two to original transcriptions of Studio Ghibli movie, movie soundtrack. Soundtrack. <laughs> we never actually got it together. Like, nobody sent their recordings, and so it just died. This was a great way for us to stay in touch while bringing our interests in music and movies together. Throughout these times, through my leadership, he had to specify it was like his leadership, not anyone else's. It was his thing. Just fine, just fine. No one else's. Yeah, no one else's. No, he put the clips together. He was the leader. Yeah, he was a video editor. Yeah. Anyway, I was able to bring a little bit of happiness and unity in our musical world. I like how you said this was a great way to stay in touch, but like they never sent you anything. It's just really bad. Yeah, this was my second draft. It's embarrassing. That was my second draft, huh? This what? is your what was the second draft. draft? <laughs> oh what was the first draft then? <laughs> I don't even know. I hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Actually, okay. This was my very first sentence. <laughs> For seven years, I thrived in my music community in Houston with the Houston Youth <laughs> Company. Like, yeah, we get it. We're, you're from Houston. Oh no. About ten. Why is it changing, Kyle? <laughs> you're a liar. <laughs> oh my god. Why was it in about 10? Like, you couldn't count how many there were, you just forgot. Like, it, was, like, it wasn't like two months ago. Like, I think it was 10. Maybe it was 8 or like 9. Like, I don't know. If you put about 10, they might be like, oh, maybe he has 12. Friends. If you round up, it's 10. So it's like 5 friends. If you round up, it's 10. About 10. Are they actually all your friends? I don't even know if you guys are my friends, so like... We're not. <laughs> We're not. Okay. Why are you confused? We're no, not. No, no, no. Kyle in his YouTube intro, guys, I got a bunch of my friends together for this video. I'm going to edit these clips <laughs> and talk to each other. I had about 10 friends in this video, not sure how many friends. though. No, I, I can compliment it. I think it's like... Okay, wait, let me start a new meeting. And then... We have another nine minutes though. Why would we... When he, when he <laughs> can't afford Zoom Premium. This was supposed to be on my essay, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just personal essays... slander. Well, why wouldn't you wait for the nine minutes to expire and then... Okay, because I need to wipe my tears, okay? I'm kidding. But <laughs> just in case... <laughs> Maybe if you got into MIT, they give you the email for the educator account. Yeah. You know, in my intro, I said that all of this is a joke and that they're all nice people. I feel like I have to cut that part out now. <laughs> Much like the life of a professional scientist or engineer, the life of being a techer relies heavily on collaboration. Knowing this, what do you hope to explore, innovate, or create with your Caltech peers? So his response was, thump thump. 
Thumb thumb, italicized. Thumb thumb, <laughs> italicized bold. My heart was racing, pumping so loudly that everything else faded away. I was a recipe for disaster. My mouth dry, my palms sweaty, my knees weak, my arms heavy. As you reached my solo, my fingers fumbled and six years of clarinet went down the drain. Fortunately, it was just rehearsal. So why are you so dramatic about it if it was a rehearsal? Okay, and while I played my solo perfectly during the real concert, many musicians struggled to handle our nerves on stage, okay, was, tragically like, fumbling through the piece. While these nerves are partially a psychological mindset, the physiological symptoms are much more prominent. Sweaty hands, shallow breaths, rapid heart rate, and trembling fingers. Kyle, do you sweat a lot? That's the vibe I'm getting. I'm getting very sweaty vibes. <laughs> Having experienced this many times myself, I've always hoped for a way to physically stay calm during a performance while maintaining the high level of mental focus that the adrenaline rush brings. You can tell he's never tried weed. <laughs> At Caltech, I love to work with my peers to develop a tool to do this, and I recognize that this would require interdisciplinary collaboration. The insertion of the peers, it's, it's so calculated each time. It's like, I don't think anyone wants to take part in this, Kyle. I've had many experiences working with others, whether it be my elementary school robotics team, high school basketball team, oh, he's an athlete, you can just tell, youth symphony, or lab research. Bringing this collaborative and intellectual spirit to Caltech, I would work with students from a variety of majors to create this calming device. With chemistry, biology, physics, engineering, and applied math majors, we would design He's a just compact them. He's gadget just all that them. regulates <laughs> breathing, controls oh heart rate, increases saliva <laughs> production. See, there's no like content here. It's just like words. No, but he needs to like moisten his mouth. He needs to keep the mouth moist, so he specifies oh he needs to God. increase the saliva production. With a smart wristband for real-time detection and a sleeve that reacts accordingly, controlling adrenaline levels in the bloodstream, performers will experience less physiological symptoms of nervousness while remaining hyper alert because of the adrenaline in the brain. My, my inspiration for this was literally nicotine patches. Like, I was like, if you can just stick a nicotine patch and you can, like, have stuff in your blood, why can't you do that with adrenaline? And I was like, you know what? Not just limited to, limited to musicians, this innovation will be extremely useful during public speaking or dangerous tasks? Question mark? Um, what by does that mean? Die <laughs> on Dangerous task. Well, what does that <laughs> mean? <laughs> like EMTs or like police officers? I was thinking of Wait. war. <laughs> of Wait, war. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kyle wants to give soldiers nicotine patches. That's his Catholic innovation. <laughs> Yeah, but to be fair, this prompt is tricky. Like, who at, like, the ripe age of 17 years old is gonna pitch, like, a good idea? The 230 kids who got in, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you should've just been like, I propose the scrub daddy. Um, <laughs> like, did it have to- <laughs> Kyle, why do your soldiers need their mouths moistened? Right. <laughs> no, they like, need more saliva. Where does the increased saliva production come in there? <laughs> no, like, what do you need more spit for, Kyle? Like, what do you need more spit for? <laughs> Like seriously, that's a good question, Kyle. What yeah, do no, you Kyle, need more Kyle, spit tell for? us. Kyle, tell us. What do you need more spit for? Oh, he's drinking water. He's he's moist his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so is so it how time? Do we, how do we feel? He's like so I hurt right now. He's like, that's cool. Let's move on. I feel if like we're providing my... Kyle with so much content, but then like when we ask him questions, he like doesn't respond back to us. Like he's not giving us that's content. Like, we're right? giving him this content. Like where's the energy? Where's the energy? My con my contribution, my leadership is layering all the clips <laughs> together. <laughs> 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 Okay, so it's time for Stanford. Um, Ariane, I know you've been waiting for this one, so the stage is yours. This is my favorite one. <laughs> this is the roommate essay. So the prompt reads, write a note to your future roommate that reveals something about you or that will help your roommate and us get to know you better. So like the aim of this essay is right. It's like basically to make yourself like seem appealing to these admissions officers. So he goes, hey roomie, exclamation point. I'm excited to meet you. And I know we'll have a great I'll have a great four years, but first, I'd like you to know some things about me. Namely, the various noises associated with my hobby and personality. Kyle, I don't know what you think, but when I first what think is... of noises associated with people's personalities, um, 
Pleasant things don't come to mind. Like. <laughs> okay, I am I just weird? Or this found sounds. like a little sexual to me. <laughs> Wait, like, why? Why did you choose noises? Like yeah, of everything that you, yeah. you why, why noises? Like you could have said sound. Okay. You could have said right? any other word. Guys, it could have been like, worse. You didn't say like taste or like smell. I think that would have been yeah. worse. <laughs> the smells of my home. <laughs> <No. laughs> the smells that would have been worse. <laughs> When you say noises, it just brings up like groaning and like grunting. Like wow. I don't understand what yeah. you wanted me to yeah. think when I read that sentence. Picture this: you're a tenured admissions officer. You've done amazing things. You've like I don't know, cured cancer. You're a Stanford graduate. You're excited for the next crop of kids at Stanford, and you read the essay, and it goes, "I can't wait for you to hear my noises." <laughs> Nighttime is my favorite time for music. We might be finishing our research papers at two when, a, when I'll suddenly start humming the horn solo in Don Juan, singing Galway Girl, or listening to Blackpink. I want to hear Galway Girl. We want to sleep. Like, who wants to hear noises at night? <laughs> As if it's like a positive thing to hear like noises when you're studying or doing a problem set. It makes it sound like a room and like, yes, that's what I want in my room. <laughs> I love to hear Galway Girl. The next sentence is my favorite. It's my favorite right, for sure. Let's hear, let's hear. If, and if we're ever feeling overwhelmed with work, I'd be happy to play clarinet to calm your minds for a while. Okay, picture this. It's like final season. You're studying for like your calc test tomorrow, and he's like, "Yo, you want to hear some clarinet? Like I got like, you." Like, like, <laughs> like <laughs> he's really channeling the inner Squidward energy. Like, <laughs> can we talk about how not a single thing in this paragraph sounds pleasant? No, no. It's funny that he makes all of these sound like positive. Positive. <laughs> <laughs> like it's gonna help the roommate a lot. <laughs> As or, opposed okay. to like annoyances on the side. So yeah. the next sentence goes, birthdays are my favorite holidays. And even if you forget, I'll surprise you with a midnight rendition of happy birthday <laughs> as you're wrapped up in your problem sets for the night again. Like, like no, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> right? There's a little more. <laughs> There's more than music though. It's not just music. We might be studying for an upcoming OCHEM exam when you hear a cringling from my midnight Pocky stress eating. I'm happy to share. Again? You're studying and you hear your roommate like cringling their freaking chip That's not a good thing. thing. Why is he trying to make it sound good? (laughs) This essay gives me very much like does not know how to socially interact with other people vibes. Like no one wants to hear the clarinet at 2 a.m. I agree. So so, so I kind of get like the loyalty thing I guess. Like you're saying like even if Actually, no, I don't. I just don't. (laughs) I love Rubik's Cubes, and you may hear its soft clackety-clack in the afternoon. You might also hear me speaking Mandarin, my native language, when venting about a Korean drama series or cheering for the Sixers. (laughs) He had to put that in there. Like, the Why pocket wasn't enough. He just plays sports in everything. Just, 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 every just to put that there. <laughs> I didn't even realize how many essays I put sports in until, like, I started making this video. Right. He said, student athlete, but I'm not good enough to play for Stanford. What do you mean, venting about a Korean drama series? You can't even finish a whole one. I feel like K-dramas are really, like, applicable to Kyle. Because, like, you know, they're about relationships, and Kyle doesn't really have those. So it's like, you gotta fill the void somehow. Wait, Ariane, keep reading. <laughs> If you if you also speak another language, let me know. I'd love to learn some. (laughs) That's so irrelevant, it's hilarious. Like what does this have to do with noises? Again, from Strauss and Ed Sheeran to Rubik's Cubes and Mandarin, I look forward to sharing the euphony of my life with you and adding our late night combos to this medley of noises as well. Cheers to the next four years. Loudly. Hashtag next four years. Loudly, Kyle. Okay, I understand the loudly part. Like, you know those TikTok comments that are like, hey, and it's like aggressively farts in like the in, like the thing? Like, that's the vibe it that's gives That's the vibe. Me. That's the vibe. I agree. Let's each say one thing that you like about Kyle's essays. You sound very, like, genuine. Like, you know, like, I don't know if I put myself out there like this, but, you know, you did. Normalize being yourself online. <laughs> Normalize being brave. Like, you know, this is brave. Ooh, you seem like normal. Like, you seem like a... a like he does not person. seem normal. No, he <laughs> does not. No, Kyle, you sound like you can sing. Kyle, sing otherwise you're not getting content. Come on, yeah. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Oh, sing the chorus of Galway Girl. Sing the chorus Galway of Galway Girl. Play, hold on. Give me a second. Hold on. Did he mute? Yes, oh, give me a yeah. second. Give me a second. Play the film in an Irish band, she fell in love with an Englishman. No, that's why he needs the Caltech to Yeah, he, he, yeah, he needs the Smurfing. Because this is so bad, I can't <laughs> sing. He needs more saliva. 
Alright. You played a fiddle in an Irish band, but she fell in love with an English man. Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hands of baby. Oh, I just wanted to dance. Supportive. She's not gonna do it again. If I, I that know. wasn't yeah, bad. That wasn't bad at all. You know, I, I'm glad I'm going pre med instead of doing English or something, but, um,. I really don't know what to say. Um, I think I had most of that coming. And you know what, to all my friends who participated in this video, thank you, I think. Um, I don't know if I should be thanking you, but I'm kidding, I did have fun making this video. So hopefully y'all sadists enjoy this video and leave a comment, a like, and subscribe. I don't know what else to say, so let's just do my outro. Uh, how do you, okay, how do you make an outro? Bye, and then it just ends. Do you not watch my videos, Kyle? Like, you don't know? I don't know. All I know is that, like, right off the bat, this is my editing Instagram, and you should follow it if you don't. <laughs> Bye. Bye.